My name's Eli, sir. I'm calling on behalf of a Jeep. Rick, let me cut to the chase. The reason we're contacting you here is because we're able to see that this vehicle has no further coverage. Okay, uh, the vehicle's uh, warranty has its spot. That means if your vehicle wants to break down in the future, I know we don't plan for this to happen during God forbid it happens, but when we least expect it, it does happen. So let me turn you over to my supervisor, sir. He'll give you the exact details on our budget-friendly op uh, uh, options and what we have to offer. And at the end of the day, uh, here, Rick, it, uh, you're the boss, sir. You make the call, sir, whether it suits your needs or not. Would that be fair with you, sir? Hi, Rick. Uh, my name is George Mussini, Stronger Specialist here. How are you today? I'm okay, man. That was a crazy call I just had with Eli there. Holy crap. Is he okay? Well, is he all right? What was going on? Then there was all this crazy noise in the background. Uh, oh, my God. This is absolutely insane. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry about that. What can we do for you? Well, it's more like what I can do for you. Okay. Uh, the, the reason why you were transferred over to me because, of course, the fact that once you were placed on the Jeep is fired. Oh, you wanted to go over some options on giving me a vehicle back up there on protection. Sure. I didn't think it was expired. I thought I had a five-year, 50,000-mile warranty. But you can see from your paperwork well, it's expired. Well, the bumper to bumper is expired. Right now, I rolled over to you if you're under two years remaining in powertrain, which pretty much covers close to nothing. Powertrain is close to nothing? Yeah. Okay. And what did you say your name was? George. George. George, what's the VIN number you're showing for my vehicle? That just doesn't sound right. Mm-hmm.